This is a little segment called Zach's Embarrassing Photo with an Athlete, Part 1. Take a look at this photo. Who was that guy? Yes, that is my childhood hero, Donnie Baseball. Donald Arthur Mattingly, the single greatest first baseman in the history of baseball, arguably. Not in the Hall of Fame, should be. My favorite player, king of the Yankees in the 80s. Look at this picture. So this is 1987 at an Anaheim Marriott Hotel. Now, here's how this all started. And this is amazing that I have a photo with Don Mattingly. At the height of his powers, by the way. A year and a half past his MVP. And he should have won MVP in 86, too. But they gave it to Clemens, who was putting, like, bull, you know, testosterone on his fucking crotch and, you know, winning 24 games. Mattingly, the greatest hitter I'd ever seen, my favorite player. My dad, my parents got divorced. <coughs> Excuse me. My parents got divorced. You know, my mom had me most of the time. My dad, big Yankee fan. <coughs> Should have brought water in here. My dad wants to uh, take me out to Anaheim to see some Yankee games. It's sort of like a father-son trip. I live in Tucson going to Anaheim. I got a, a little index box cards full of baseball cards. I got four color Sharpies. I'm getting autographs. This is what I'm here for. I stay. I find out the Yankees stay in the Anaheim Marriott, which is such a shitty, shitty fucking hotel. I, I mean, come on. Couldn't put them up somewhere nicer, Steinbrenner? Uh, anyway, we go to the Marriott. And there's like 100 kids my age all sitting around the lobby. They all have, uh, you know, Sharpies, magazines, photos. Some lucky guys have like bats from, you know, the players. And, of course, the guys everyone wants to meet are Winfield, Dave Winfield, Ricky Henderson, and Don Mattingly. So Mattingly comes downstairs eventually to go to the game or go to batting practice. And he's sitting there. And I got my dad there with the camera, the 35-millimeter Kodak. And I'm like, if you see Don, we get a picture. He goes, okay. So here's the photo my dad took in the lobby. It's one of my all-time favorite photographs. Uh, I don't know if you've seen Mattingly recently. He's now got this big white beard. He's managing the, the Blue Jays. And he looks like John Daly or something. He looks like F <laughs> John Daly and Father Christmas had a baby. Uh, but back then, look at that mustache. Look at those aviators. Dude, Don Mattingly had the sickest dick broom in New York history. Woo! Look at that thing. Beautiful. If that thing could talk, it would have HPV. <laughs> I mean, look, there's another funny thing in this picture besides my braces. Look at the middle finger. Donnie is slowly, subtly flipping to my dad. Do you think he's, is he giving the bird? Mention in the comments. Is Donnie baseball flipping, up, flipping us off? He's obviously got some mail with him for some reason. I guess that's how it worked back in the day. But, you know, I got the photo with Donnie. He's got the aviators on. He looks like he drives a Camaro or an IROC Z. And he signed a couple things for me. I got a baseball. I got a couple cards. I got a photo signed. He was so nice. Um, and he's my hero. And that's my, uh, that's my Don Mattingly photo story right there. 1987, Anaheim, California. I got pictures with Ricky Henderson, too, that same trip which I will bring on the show eventually.